Britain's Brexit minister arrived in Brussels bracing for a political showdown. It's a year since the UK voted to leave the EU and now the first in a string of monthly week-long meetings that will determine the terms of the withdrawal. But far from a showdown, both negotiators struck an upbeat tone. Je suis déterminé. The EU's Michel Barnier even quoted French poetry about how determined he feels. As Winston Churchill once said... The Brexit minister's response lines from Winston Churchill. Who else? Our objective is to agree on the main principles of the key challenges for the UK's withdrawal as soon as possible. This, this includes citizens' rights, the single financial settlement and the question of the borders, in particular, in Ireland. It was clear from the opening that both of us want to achieve the best possible outcome and the strongest possible partnership, one that works for the UK and for the EU. Nowhere is this more true than on the important issues around the rights of citizens, where I'm happy to report there is much common ground. It's not the timetable the British government had hoped for, but in these first few months of negotiations, both sides have agreed to discuss the status of more than 3.2 million EU nationals currently living in the UK, not to mention more than 1 million Brits living in the European Union. There may also be some progress on the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, the UK's only land border with another EU state. We're also expected to hear more about the amount of money that Britain may have to pay to leave the EU. Some estimates put that figure at more than $100 million. British negotiators are still trying to establish if they owe the EU any money at all. Phase two of talks, including any future trade arrangements, won't start until October, but only if both sides have made suitable progress. The British Prime Minister Theresa May's bruising general election results mean the UK government may now be ready for compromises with the EU. Theresa May's quite UKP, Nigel Farage-like, very tough anti-immigration stance probably has died a death with that election result. Months of nimble negotiating has now begun. Both sides are promising to make swift progress, with Theresa May expected to reveal more about the status of EU citizens in the UK as early as Thursday. But disentangling more than 40 years of laws and trade agreements is no easy feat. This divorce could take decades to undo. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Brussels.